I had all kinds of free time. And uh, there was just so many different factors that all came into it so that I was able to do all this stuff. And it's like, I, I don't know, I don't even feel like I did it. And without God, none of it would have gotten done because if I was working the amount of hours that I do now, I never would have got into half the stuff that I did. So, I mean, it's it's cool, like you're saying, like, I was burnt out, and I didn't know what to do after the first episode. I just wanted to do <laughs> one thing. It was like this Albert Pike thing like blew my mind. i got to tell people about this. And then oh, do I, I can see how that's, that's what did it. I totally connected with you on that. When I listened to your first episode, when I downloaded your podcast, um, I totally connected with that because I remember the first time I read that, that very section that you spoke on it did the same thing to me. I was like, people have got to hear this. This proves that this isn't coincidence, that they've been working a plan, you know, that it wasn't just something that happened by chance. They were very patient. They knew that they would die and that the next people would have to carry it on because they were talking about a hundred over a hundred years getting this done, yep. you know, and I felt the same way. So I, I totally connected with you on that. I can see why that made you jump in. You know, it's funny. You mentioned uh, the Albert Pike podcast, and I think I've, I've told you this before, though, Frank. I had uh, uh, my first experience with any of this <coughs> Excuse me, was, was the Albert Pike podcast. And it's interesting the way it happened because I was um, in my bedroom, and, and I have a plaque on the wall with Jeremiah 33.3, on that plaque, and I, and I see it every night. I've seen it every night for years. It's been there. You know, I'll read it casually. But one night I read it, um, call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee great mighty things which thou knowest not. And for some reason, it just kind of jumped off the wall. And I'm staring at this thing, and, and I, you know, I said, Lord, show me everything that you had in mind for me when you inspired that passage. And it was crazy, but that night I sat down, and one thing led to another in a search, and bang, what do I come across uh, but the Albert Pike podcast? And that was, I think, quite honestly, Frank, your first podcast. And yeah. I read it, and, and, and I listened to it, rather, and it was just like it blew my mind because I never knew that any such thing existed. And, and if, if this guy could dictate to that degree and to that detail all of what would happen in these wars, you know, then there was definitely something there was a lot more to this than met the eye and it's just funny the way god you know bills you know you came to whatever point you did in your life that motivated you to do that podcast you know and here i am miles away reading a plaque that i've seen you know a hundred times before and for some reason you know i claim that scripture for myself and ask god to to reveal these mighty things that i knew nothing about and you know it starts the ball rolling and and I think Chris alluded to it before. It's it's God piecing together um, people um, one at a time, all part of a body trying to accomplish an end result. Um, you know, I, I have definitely been the latecomer in this, and I've got a long way to go when it comes to to, to even coming close to, to what you guys have been able to do with podcasts. Um, you know, but it, it, it's you know it's great to play any any role in this whatsoever. It is a, is a privilege and an honor. It truly is. Yeah. yeah. I think you would. We should. It, it is, and and Frank, I wanted also wanted to tell you, man, it's, it's your gift. That's why you don't remember. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll be at work, and I've worked with um, these same set of guys for almost four years now, and uh, I would take them out to Lancaster County uh, after work, and we'd go hang out at a place called Black Rock, and um, I'd sit there and I'd talk about the Lord for like an hour and a half. And I wouldn't even remember what I said. <clears throat> it's um, when you're exercising your gift, it flows. And, you know, God gives you what you need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's how it is when you have a gift. And it's actually enjoyable. You yeah. enjoy using your gift. So, you know, that's that's your thing, man. Like, you're able to put things together <clears throat> in a cohesion. It actually... No offense, man, but it used to like, uh, it used to make me feel like crap about my podcast. I was like, I can't, I was like, the guy's got a gift and he's so good at, you know, getting these news stories and putting them together 
in a cohesive way, I'm like, I can't do that. You know, I'm like, and, and I, I did somewhat, but it was like learning from you and, and, and other guys, you know, how to kind of put things together in a logical progression. But I, uh, I just flow. I can't, I, I have to just sit there and say, Lord, help me just whatever I say, you know, and a lot of times I'll just go off on something. And then when I'm done, I wonder if it came together in a cohesive manner. And I've had people tell me, yeah. And I'm like, well, I get, you know, I guess it's just when you use your gift and in, in a particular way that, that God's prepared you, but you know, you're you, in your life, you were put on the potter's wheel, man. And he molded something out of you. And, and he, that whatever time that was when you decided to do that Albert Pike thing, man, it was time. And, you know, we can think we're all coming together and this is all of our efforts, but you know what? It's, it's, it's already written down in the books and it's going to freak us out when you see in the books that Revelation Radio Network was supposed to come about and everybody that's on here was supposed to be on here. It's probably going to freak us out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the moment when we realize, wow, you know, God God was at work and each one of us were prepared in a certain way and uh it's pretty cool to think about it really is. Yep. Sure is. Well, uh we looks like we're creeping up on two hours here. I know it's getting late over here, I'm sure it's later over there. Um you guys are about ready to wrap it up and give out our uh, I'm sure a lot of people are led providentially to the show here tonight and so we might want to give out our uh, podcast websites and whatnot in case people want to download them on iTunes and the rest of it. Sure. Well, yeah. Go first. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My name is Chris White and it's nowhere to run dot automatic dot com. Of course, you can go to Revelations Radio Network. It's uh, called nowhere to run. Yeah. I'm uh, Amos Ridley, uh, True Stream Oasis. You can find it at True Stream dot automatic dot com. Uh, Mark Chisulo, The Final Countdown, um, tfcservantsofjesuschrist.com is, a, is, is the uh, blog site. And uh, look for me on uh, <clears throat> The Final Countdown on iTunes or certainly Revelations Radio Network. And uh, my name is Frank Lordy, and my website is salvationrevelation.com. And like everybody else, you can uh, get all of our episodes at revelationsradionetwork.com. Or on iTunes, just look up Revelations Radio Network.